you must die to be reborn. The great way is not difficult for those who have no preferences. How do you emerge and become one with the universe? How do you remove yourself from the petty ego desperate for a form of solidity after going through amnesia? How? You must die to be reborn. My father and I are one. It takes commitment. It takes effort, it takes perseverance, and you go through trials and tribulations. Am I perfect? Do I do it just right? No, but I'm working on it. A couple of days ago, I found myself going down the rabbit hole. I found myself dictating to the others take reckoning for what they've done to me. A few hours later, I caught myself. Jessica, what are you doing? I put out a post on Facebook, on WhatsApp, and I caught myself. There was a part of me which said, nah, just leave it alone. You put it out there. And do you want people to think that you're whimsy like that? Flimsy? Just put out posts and then remove them. I said, other people, they're not my business. I don't have to concern myself about what other people might think of me. Is it really their business where and how I post? And is it really my business if they think of me as flimsy? As wishy-washy? <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Somebody else's opinion of me has nothing to do with me and it has all to do with their own lens, whether it is clear or murky. They asked Wayne Dyer. He's a great spiritual teacher. He's not he's died about he died about eight years ago. They asked Wayne Dyer, Wayne Dyer, do you care what they're gonna say about you when you die? Is it something you think about? He turned to his interviewer and he said, what? what? Why should I care what somebody else with a totally different programming to my own, with a totally different conditioning to my own, thinks of me, says about me, and what they think about my past, what to think about what I've done in my lifetime. 